guys how to preserve your baseband and update to iOS 5.1.1 and jailbreak it untethered. Yes, I know a lot of you guys have been asking yesterday how do you preserve your baseband so you can update to iOS 5.1.1 and get the untethered jailbreak. Well, Snowbreeze uh, was released and it supports the untethered jailbreak. It's Snowbreeze 2.9.4 and also you can also activate with this method as well now this does not support any a5 devices at all this is for a4 devices only if you have an iphone 4s the new ipad and the ipad 2 i'm gonna put a link in the description for the jailbreak video that i did yesterday with absent 2.0 you can also jailbreak all the devices that support ios 5.1.1 with absent but this this um this one is mainly for people that want to preserve their baseband now this jailbreak is on terra i don't know if i mentioned that before if you have any problems i have a link in the description to a written guide and just scroll down to the bottom of that guy and you're going to see some troubleshooting of some trouble fix helps like error 3194 error 1015 etc etc stuff like that also you can follow me on twitter i answer questions a lot faster than on twitter than i do on youtube and facebook now let's go to, for the only two things you're going to need you're going to need this the updated snow breeze which i'm going to have the link in the description to everything you're going to need and also the firmware for the device that you want to jailbreak i'm using my iphone 4 ios 5.1.1 obviously <coughs> I'm going to have the link in the description where you can download that. Now, Apple released an update from firmware for the iPhone 4, and I think it's just an extra bill, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's 9B208. Now, Snowbreeze does not support that firmware. So if you get an error saying Snowbreeze does not uh, support the firmware, but you downloaded the iPhone 4, it's because you did not download the one that I provided in the description. So make sure you download it from the link in the description. I can't stress this stuff enough. Now that I have everything out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do for a Windows 7 and Windows Vistas users, you're going to right click Snow Breeze, click Properties, Compatibility, check out Run This Program in Compatibility Mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, check Run This Program as an administrator, hit Apply, and then hit OK. Now you're going to go ahead and open up Snow Breeze. You're going to go ahead and hit Select OK, and make sure you put your firmware somewhere you can find it. Mine is on my desktop. We're going to go ahead and click Next. As you can see, Snowbreeze got a lot prettier. <laughs> you can download your firmware from here, but make sure you download from the link in the description. So I'm going to click Browse for my firmware, and mine is on my desktop. You can see mine right here, my iPhone 4 5.1.1, and it recognized it, iPhone 4 GSM 5.1.1. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. I'm going to go ahead and click Export Mode so I can show you guys how to activate. If you don't need to activate, you, you can go ahead and just click simple mode if you know what if you don't know what activating is basically activating allows you to activate your phone without the original sim card so if your phone is locked to AT&T or Bell you normally would need the AT&T or Bell chip to activate your device with activate you don't need it so I'm gonna click expert mode I'm gonna go to general click next I'm gonna go ahead and you can go ahead and select activate the iPhone which is activate I'm not gonna select it because I don't care to activate I have my um, AT&T SIM card which I'm gonna use as a matter of fact I'm just gonna go ahead and select the activation method it doesn't matter so I'm gonna go and activate my device and click next click next and now all you have to do is browse just click build IPSW and that's it so Snowbreeze is going to go ahead and build the IPSW. I'm going to go ahead and come back after Snowbreeze is finished building the IPSW and continue with the steps. Just let Snowbreeze work its magic. So now that Snowbreeze has finished working its magic, it created the firmware. It's on your desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click OK, and we're going to get ready to put our device into DFU mode so we can restore in iTunes. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to show you what you're going to do is hold your power and your home button for 10 seconds they're going to go ahead and release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until snow breeze recognize your device so we're going to go ahead and click start on um snow breeze and then we're going to go ahead and continue so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, Snow Breeze has recognized my device, but it's installed on a driver, so as soon as that driver is freaking done installing, 
my device should go ahead and be placed into Pwn a few more. There you go, it's running iReb. Please make sure your device is plugged into the computer. I always forget to say that. Now we can go ahead and X out Snow Breeze and open up iTunes. iTunes is open up, it's gonna tell you that it detected your device and recovered me more, yada, 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 yada. What we're gonna do is click shift on our keyboard, the shift key on a keyboard, and then select restore, click restore in iTunes, and you're gonna see that the firmware is gonna be placed on your desktop. It should begin with Snow Breeze, your iPhone, whatever you selected, iPod Touch, whatever, mine is right here, Snow Breeze iPhone 4, GSM 5.1.1, I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and just go ahead and click restore. Now my device is gonna go ahead and restore, iTunes is gonna have to work its magic. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you receive any errors at this point, whether it's 3194, which you shouldn't get because we're not downgrading, 1013, 1016, etc., 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 visit the link in the description and scroll down to the bottom of that post and you're gonna see some troubleshooting fixes there. If you still have any problems, Follow me on Twitter and ask me whatever question you want to ask me there. I'm going to go ahead and come back when Snow Breeze is finished installing the firmware on my device. Now iTunes is finished working. It's magic. My device is on iOS 5.1.1 as you guys can see the camera button right there. And I'm going to go ahead and up launch Snow Breeze. And you guys can see, sorry, not Snow Breeze, um, Cydia. You guys can see Cydia is working perfectly. Now, that's basically it. Once again, remember, if you have any problems, follow me on Twitter or check the link in the description for trouble fixes. I can't stress that enough, and I know people are still going to blow up the comments, but it's whatever. You are now jailbroken. May the jailbreak force be with you. Have a nice day.